Whenever you walk into a warehouse, you will see workers moving pallets, automated forklifts stacking goods on tall racks, barcode scanners beeping at every pick, or packages being loaded for delivery. You might wonder what smart technology is orchestrating all of it. The answer is the WMS or the Warehouse Management System. So in this video, I will cover with you how does a warehouse management system work? What are its connections and integrations with other supply chain systems? Who are the key players in the WMS software industry? And most importantly, how can you build expertise in this kind of a system? My name is Jamil Hai and I've been working in supply chain management positions across South Asia, Middle East and North America for the last 20 plus years. And my mission is to help supply chain professionals like you build real life skills for your job and career that they don't teach you in college. And if you are preparing for a supply chain job interview anytime soon, you should definitely book a session with me because I'm going to take your resume, the job description you're applying for, and based on a combination of those two and my 20 plus years of experience will give you some laser guided tips and tricks which will maximize your chances of success. So go ahead now and book your session. So first of all, let's look at what is a warehouse management system. Well, a warehouse management system or a WMS is a specialized software designed to manage and optimize daily warehouse operations from start to finish. It controls everything from the moment products arrive at the receiving dock until they are loaded onto delivery trucks, ensuring every item is tracked, stored and moved with maximum efficiency. Think of it as the brain that coordinates all warehouse activities, tracking inventory, managing picking and packing, and orchestrating the flow of goods through your facility. But how does this technology really work? Well, there are three key aspects you need to keep in mind when it comes to a WMS. The number one is real-time tracking. Barcodes and RFIDs are the heartbeat of your WMS. So in terms of real-time tracking, it uses all these different technologies. Now there are days we are also using IoT sensors for instant visibility of every item's location and status through the warehouse. The other aspect of the WMS is smart automation. So it connects with robotics and automated systems to optimize picking routes, reduce travel time, and increase throughput efficiency. A lot of time when you are new in supply chain, you kind of underestimate the amount of time that can be wasted if your picking pattern through a warehouse is inefficient. Imagine a huge warehouse where let's say you have got probably 35 or 100 aisles and you have to pick an order where every item is in a different aisle. Your time to pick up that order can be very, very different depending on which kind of route you take. Imagine, you know, if you are going to deliver, let's say, 10 boxes uh, to 10 different people and you take the most inefficient route, it can take you several hours to make a delivery like that or it can take you less time if you manage your path efficiently. So the smart automation within the warehouse management system allows you to create your picking plan. So it optimizes your route pattern within the warehouse because you are doing this picking almost on a, an hourly basis. Sometimes you are doing this 24 seven depending on the nature of your operation. So your route plan for your picking is a key component which the warehouse management system makes more efficient. And then finally, intelligent task management it assigns the right tasks to the right people at the right time, tracking labor productivity and managing workload distribution dynamically. Now, if you think about the integration of a WMS with other systems, there are three key systems that come to mind when it comes to a WMS in the context of other supply chain systems. The number one is, of course, the ERP. Uh, if you have watched my previous video on uh, the deep dive on the ERP, I've covered this point that an ERP is connected to all the supply chain systems, including the WMS. Similarly, a WMS is absolutely incomplete without a TMS integration. Imagine your warehouse management system is optimizing the flow of the product inside a warehouse while your TMS is optimizing the flow of the trucks and the vans and in whatever shape or form you are shipping the product. So these two systems have to talk to each other. And then finally, it also connects to some labor management systems uh, because you are then also managing the human resource aspect within the WMS. Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to WMS software providers, a few names come to mind. Uh, of course, there is SAP. Uh, we covered in the previous video about ERPs that SAP is one of the leading ERP solutions. And SAP also has uh, got something called uh, EWM, which is the Extended Warehouse Management Package, 
uh, which covers the warehouse management side of things. Uh, Oracle also offers uh, some cloud native solutions around uh, WMS. And then uh, one of the other big players in this space is Manhattan Associates. The Manhattan WMS is very widely known uh, across the world. Even in my own personal experience, I have run warehouses uh, with the Manhattan system in Dubai, in Canada, uh, and in the United States. So Manhattan is also a uh, very widely known uh, WMS. And then there are other players as well like Blue Yonder, Corber, and so on. Now let's talk about how can you build your expertise on a specific WMS or the technology itself. Now, the challenge is that there is not an easy answer to this question because whenever this question comes to me in my coaching calls, I tell my clients that the easiest and the cheapest way to learn a WMS is to go and work for a company that uses that WMS. Because uh, most in most cases, uh, whether it's an SAP training or an Oracle training or a Manhattan training, if you try to do this on your own individually, these trainings are pretty expensive. So um, because experience is anyways the most critical thing in supply chain, as I've mentioned in all my videos, therefore, uh, if you happen to find a job in a company which is using any of these WMSs, then try to use that time in the company to gain experience over this. Now, becoming an expert in WMS can help you if you are having a career aspiration to become a warehousing expert over a long period of time or become a logistics senior manager or director uh, because then you need to really have a good understanding of inside out of all the different WMS systems and their capabilities. Uh, and the way you can do this is first of all, uh, you master your supply chain fundamentals. So build your solid supply chain found foundations. And uh, I've covered in my videos about what kind of courses you can take. Uh, I've made a video on the top five supply chain courses, which has now got more than 50,000 views, which you can watch by clicking over here. Um, similarly, uh, as I mentioned, if you work for a company that is using SAP, Oracle, or Manhattan, that will give you a lot of advantage in terms of getting trained. Um, so that's that's the, one of the easiest ways to get uh, upskill. And then uh, also use your uh, ability to learn from informal ways to also understand how is this uh, ecosystem of WMS is changing. So try to watch videos like the ones on my channel or also on from uh, some other content creators on uh, LinkedIn where you can learn uh, in more details the integration patterns between WMSs and uh, uh, ERPs and TMS and so on. And then stay ahead of the curve. Try to keep uh, finding out uh, different innovations which are happening in the AI space with WMSs uh, because AI is definitely, especially with robotics, it's uh, changing the shape of warehousing very really fast. Um, I think we are still a few years away from uh, a much broader application of uh, automated warehouses, but we are getting there slowly and the WMS is going to be playing a critical role in that space. So if you are an aspiring learner in supply chain uh, and you want to learn more about WMS, what are your next steps? So if you are a student, start with supply chain fundamentals and seek internship opportunities to gain practical WMS experiences early in your career. For professionals, pursue vendor certifications, attend industry conferences. And then, like I said, uh, the most practical tip is to go and work for a company which is using a WMS because that's the fastest way to learn, as I said. And then use a combination of formal courses and informal learning to keep yourself updated with the latest and greatest in the WMS technologies because that is going to really help you if you are applying for your next job or like I mentioned earlier if you want to become uh, a warehousing expert uh, that won't be possible without you building expertise in a WMS. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I have also made videos on topics like how to get hired in a supply chain job in Canada and how is agentic AI transforming supply chain which you can watch by clicking over here. Keep watching.